Today in our 2015 Jeep Wrangler, we'll be having a look at and installing the Pollock 6-pole round pin trailer wiring socket, part number PK11609. All right, here's what our Pollock 6-way round connector looks like installed on the front of our Jeep. This 6-way round has a nice dust cover here that's spring-loaded, which will hold in our 6-way round connector and also keep dirt and debris from entering our connection. This will give us the ability to run a towed vehicle lighting system on our Jeep, run a charge line if we need to, or have other functions on one of the other six connectors. The six pole round connector has six terminals inside. You'll have one for your tail lights, one each for both turn signals, so that takes care of three. You have your ground, it's a fourth one. You have two more. One you could use as an auxiliary charge line to keep your battery charged. The other one you could use for a towed vehicle braking system indicator light, something like that. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our installation, we're gonna start with swapping out our connector on the end of our wiring harness. It ships as a four pole flat on both ends, but for our purposes, we'll be using a six pole round, so we'll just cut off the end here. And strip back the insulation on all four wires. Those strip back, we'll take our six pole. There's a Phillips screw right here in the top. We'll remove that. Open the door and push the connector on through the front. Take our wires, stick them through the back. We can start making our connections now. Okay, now on the back side of our connector, we'll find there's six screws that will hold our wires in place. The ground wire is the one marked G, the one for our right turn signal and right brake lights, the one marked R, the one for our left turn signal and left brake lights, the one marked L, and then our tail lights or running lights is the one marked T. So we'll start with our ground wire. Okay, with our set screw for the ground backed out, we'll take our white wire, stick it inside, and tighten down the set screw. Okay, we'll do our left turn signal next. Well, that'll get our yellow wire. Okay, now we'll do our right turn signal, and that'll get our green wire. Make sure all our wires are nice and secure. Now we'll do our tail lights, which is our brown wire. Okay, of our connections made, we'll now pull our connector put it back inside, we'll line up the hole and reinstall our screw that holds it in place. Because we don't have a rubber grommet or anything to seal the back to prevent corrosion from occurring, what I'm gonna do is take some electrical tape and go down our wire here a little bit. This will help hide any of the colored wires behind our fascia here too as well. And wrap it to the front of our connector. With that all wrapped up, You can see how it's all sealed off now. Okay, now we'll take the connector off the other end. Okay, we had a hole drilled right here in the middle of our air dam for our wires for a breakaway switch for our braking system to go through. Our four pole flat wiring will go through there as well. We'll be able to mount our connector right here on the provided studs on our base plate. So we'll just pull this on through all the way you can see where our connector now sits, and we'll secure it with a couple self-tapping screws. Okay, now we have a nice secure mounting spot for our six pole round connector to control our towed vehicle lighting. And that completes our look at and installation of the Pollock six pole round pin trailer wiring socket, part number PK11609, on our 2015 Jeep Wrangler. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.